Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to be going over the advanced look. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm going to show you how to use my sit in chair component, which allows you to easily sit in any chair you want. In this video, we'll integrate this into a default third person project template, which you can easily work this into your own project too. So here's how it works. It's really easy. You add the component to your character. He can sit in and out of the chair like so. After adding it to the character, we only need to add like four things and it's all copy paste really quick. So let's get into it. Okay, we have the template and now I'm going to migrate the folder from the sit in chair project into our template, which I named chair underscore test. I'm selecting the content folder of my chair test project to migrate to and there it is. The folder is in the third person template. First thing we'll want to do is search for and delete the skeleton from the sit in chair folder. This will open up a window and we'll select replace with the only option being the UE mannequin. If your project is using the default mannequin, then everything will pair up nice and easy. If not, uh, best of luck, buddy. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. I'm just kidding. You will need a retarget, which there are plenty of tutorials on how to do that, but I don't want to cover that here for the sake of keeping this short. Let's drag in a chair and rotate it. Open the character blueprint. Let's add the chair component to our character blueprint. Open the character blueprint from the sit in chair folder and copy the alternative input for interaction, which is the M key and make sure everything is working properly. Properly. The character blueprint has the other logic for input mapping and taking care of crouching if your project has it. Feel free to look into that blueprint further. Next, we go up to the chair, press E. Wait, did did we? Oh yeah, we copy the alternative key, which is the M key. We press that and boom, movement is restricted. We can see the character frozen in place, sliding into the chair, legs fully erect. Okay, sorry, this was a fluke. Reach out to Epic for a refund. I'm just kidding, haha. -ha. So everything is working perfectly. The next thing we need to do is open the animation graph from the default project, go into the anim graph and out of the state machine default, let's type default and connect the default together into the output pose. Confused? Great! Welcome to game development. Next, open the state machine. And before we go further, let's also open the state machine from the sit in chair anim graph. Copy the sitting node and paste it into the same location in the third person template anim graph above idle slash run state. Then drag an arrow to and from the state and copy the condition from sits anim graph. Paste it in the default anim graph condition pile just right click, create variable, boom, you're chilling. Now do the same for the other arrow, copy, paste, compile, save. Now in the chair anim graph, go to its event graph and copy this sexy, hot, pink nodes, you perv, and paste that into your anim graph. Drag the pawn owner into the get component by class target, then connect the exec pin into the sequence. Compile. Save. Now go ahead. Take a seat. Yeah. You're welcome. If you want to change the text, open up this widget, click the text line here, edit everything but the thing that matters, like the button input, and just marvel at your masterpiece. You did this. You talented, gorgeous, tutorial following genius. Another thing, I made the montages easily editable. So if you have your own animations that you want to place in here, go ahead and swap them out. I initially used Mixamo ones, but you can't sell anything with Mixamo. So I had to make my own crappy ones that you see here. Also, I added the ability to change the rate of the animations, playing for both standing and sitting. And this is the rate of the entire montage, so not like the specific part or just the part you want, it's the whole thing. So it'll probably just look like your character is constipated and there may be some clipping, which I'll eventually get into adding the IK so that it's all perfect, but that'll be in an update down the line. So as of now, I guess it's experimental. Anyway, that's the entire thing. Thank you so much for checking it out. If you have any questions, honestly, please feel free to reach out and I'll do my best 
guys to help. I'm pretty responsive to comments on just about every thread. I, I really don't have a life or friends. So um, yeah, a at this point, I may even just make a Discord. And if I do so after making this video, links will be provided everywhere. So thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, I'll see you later. Bye.